namaste my name is nidhi nagori and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm talking about uk i'm talking about companies that are sponsoring visas in uk how you can get that list of companies that are eligible to sponsor people on visas and i'm also giving you a list of seven companies in uk that are sponsoring visas right now yes as i'm making this video these companies are sponsoring visas and i'm not even going to post it this late i'm making this video on sunday and i'm pretty sure this video will go live in the next 3 4 days so if you are interested in uk if you are somebody who's looking for work permit in uk this video is for you stick around Before we move any further with the video, I want to thank Oava for collaborating with me on today's video. Just like their name, their product is equally interesting. Now, have you ever thought of being a wealth manager? Being a wealth manager does not necessarily mean that you manage other people's money. You can also manage your own wealth. But even if you want to manage your own wealth, you need to have the proper skill sets and the proper knowledge. This is where Oava can help you. As Indians continue getting wealthier, the demand for wealth manager is only going to increase in India. You should be looking at this as a potential career choice. Why? Because this has immense scope not just in India but also internationally. You could be helping clients in India with their wealth, you could be managing your own wealth, and you could be handling international clients who want to invest in India. This can be an excellent global career opportunity. And Oava is here to train you with their wealth management, wealth advisory and wealth creation courses. Why Oava you ask? Let's talk about the benefits. Their 6 months course provides NSE Academy certificate. They also provide a bunch of scholarship assistance and they also provide placement assistance. Their unique courses combine practical with theory and you are taught by best industry experts. While learning about economy, rates, assets, credit, currencies, statement of accounts, you also learn soft skills and you you also learn through live case studies and you are taught by best industry experts and illustrious academicians. It is literally the best of both worlds. Choose a program that fits your schedule, plan for your future and start with Oava today. Adding a link in the description box. This will also help you understand what Oava is about and what amazing courses they offer. Good luck. Start today. If you've noticed in the recent past the UK content on my channel has exploded and that correlates with the fact that the immigration process and the immigration laws in UK have changed. About 4 to 5 years ago when some of my friends went to the UK to do their masters they had no pathway to get a work permit and they needed sponsorship on day 1 right after their graduation. That was something that was so difficult to get. UK currently is seeing massive labor shortages because of the Brexit and the pandemic combined together, which has been a double whammy on the labor market conditions in the country. If you've been following UK news, you probably know that they were running out of gas at one point. Currently they're running out of truckers and there's a lot of shortage of even skilled and semi-skilled workers. In the last couple of months UK has made some drastic changes to its immigration policies. Whether it's by giving work permits to students now graduating from a UK university or by introducing the skilled worker visa or by making their PR process points based or by including India and Iceland in their youth mobility program UK is really trying to expand its horizons and get the best talent that's out there in its country so because a lot of UK employers are hiring foreign talent giving them visas i thought i should be making a video where i can come up with a list of such companies and i can give you guidance as to how you can go about doing this job search if you're wondering what is the source for my video today well my first and most important source is the government of UK website They have an entire section on immigration so I've gone ahead pulled the list out and I'm going to be sharing with you how you can download this list of employers and how you should be going about with it. So first of all the government of UK makes it super easy for you by putting a list out there for public that they can download and they can get a list of employers who are eligible to sponsor work visas. Just remember that not every company in UK is eligible to sponsor a work visa. that needs a special authorization from the government itself that's not something that's specific to uk it's actually applicable to most countries in the world most countries in the world expect that the local employers before hiring foreign nationals will go to them and obtain either a license or tell the government why they need foreign nationals in the first place this is done to ensure that domestic companies don't end up hiring foreign talent at the cost of local talent and why would they do so well it is well documented and well evidenced that immigrants are generally okay to work for a lower pay scale and demand lesser benefits so whether it's benefits like insurance higher education retirement etc or even the pay band that you enter in immigrants tend to ask for lesser money lesser of each of these benefits as compared to the domestic workers 
Also, the domestic workers know their rights, so they know that they're legally entitled to a lot of these benefits, and hence they put all of their demands on the table. So the government wants that first preference be given to all the local citizens. In context of UK, if you are a UK citizen or if you have a UK PR, the government of UK wants that you be given preference over someone else who is moving from another country, especially if both of you have the same level of skills and the same level of talent. This entire process ensures that the labor market stays in equilibrium, where you have decent amount of jobs that are available to the domestic workers first. And once a company cannot find a domestic worker, they then go and tell the government that, hey, listen, I've not been able to find a domestic worker for this particular role. I want to go ahead and find somebody internationally because this role is in short supply in the country or I really need this role to be filled. Once the company goes in with all the proof, it is at that stage that the government allows the company to hire a foreign national. Some countries tend to do it job-wise. So for every single job, the local companies have to first try and find people locally. And if they cannot find people locally or domestically, that's when they go to the government and the government will approve each job and be like, okay, for this job, you can go and hire somebody internationally. But in UK, just like Canada, this process is different. There you have a bunch of companies that already have the authorization from the government because they have previously proved to the government why they need international talent and because they are in the history of hiring foreigners. So this particular list that I am going to give you guys has over 30,000 companies from UK which are authorized to sponsor work permits for foreigners. Now you may wonder how to get to this list. This list is publicly available on the Government of UK website. I've put the link in the description box down below so you can go ahead and check it out. You can download the file. It costs you nothing. This file is available for absolutely free. And this file is also given so that if you have, say, a job offer from UK, you can verify if the company is authorized to sponsor a visa to you. And you can kind of stay away from the scams because, you know, a lot of scams keep happening. You, you have these scamming organizations trying to always ask people for money so that they can place them in UK. So this is a good list that you can make use of, especially if somebody's offering you a visa sponsorship, then you can go ahead, check this list and see if they really exist in the list. The one thing that I do not like about this list is it literally gives you the names of companies and not the fields or the positions open, which I totally understand because every company can have diversified businesses and diversified roles. So you could have one company that is involved in say seven or eight lines of different businesses. They could be in manufacturing, they could be in real estate, they could be in the business of buying businesses or they could be in financial services, banking, etc. Also, many of these companies might be multinationals, which means they have a massive careers page and it is impossible to link every single job that's open and that is available for visa sponsorship out there. So while I appreciate the list of over 30,000 UK organizations, I kind of don't like the way it's structured. I absolutely understand it's tough to structure it industry-wise, it's tough to structure it career-wise, it's tough to put all the details together. I completely get it, but I wish this was somewhat more structured, which is why I'm going to give you seven companies that are hiring currently in UK. These are from the list that you will be downloading, so you can go ahead and take their names. Each one of them is offering visa sponsorships. Please make sure that you go to their individual career pages, look out for jobs that you may like, and then apply. I always suggest that you get a good ATS template resume so that your resume actually reaches the hiring manager or the HR team. Now, all these seven companies here are not only offering you visa sponsorships, but they're also offering you a full relocation package, which means if you were to move for any of their jobs, they would make sure that you have an entire relocation covered. That would include your visa, your flight tickets, your initial accommodation, and maybe even paying you for the initial clothes like winter clothes, boots, etc. that you may buy. Every company has its own relocation package, so please make sure that you talk to the HR in details. Now you may ask me, what do I do with a list of 30,000 UK organizations that can sponsor work permits? So here's what I suggest you do. Go through the list, try to scan through a couple hundred and see if there are names that pop out. To me, a lot of the names popped out. That's how I actually went ahead and checked these companies that you just saw on the screen and I got to know they actually have jobs that are open for visa sponsorship. So that's going to be my suggestion. Skim through the list. Try and see if there are companies whose names pop out. To me, Big Fours popped out a lot. To me, Big Aids popped out a lot. The banks popped out a lot. But it could be different for everyone. Depending on which field you're from, try and see if you can skim through the list and find some recognizable names. That will give you a good head start. Apart from this, what will also benefit you is doing quick Google searches for some of these names that sound like companies. If they sound like something small, I don't recommend it. But if they sound like something big or major or a multinational, or if they give you a good feel, that's all you need. Always remember, in the end, we need just one company to sponsor our visa. We don't need 30,000. So you need to find that one particular fit for yourself. And as a massive disclaimer, I do want to state this. Never, ever pay any sum of money to just anyone.
you don't pay money you never pay money to get a job you never pay money to get a visa because that is not only ethically wrong it's also illegal if you read about immigration laws of these countries you will realize that their immigration laws are actually quite stringent and if you've partaken in any kind of bribery you are the one who could be in trouble most importantly anyone asking for money to get you a job is not trying to help you they're trying to scam you so please don't fall in any kind of these scams Keep yourself safe, keep your money safe, keep your mental sanity safe and apply for these jobs. If you've been following me on Instagram, you already know that a lot of my followers have found visa sponsorship jobs in Belgium, UK, Netherlands, Germany. That's why I keep making these videos because I want to keep the hope alive and I want to make sure that you have access to all the right information. On that note, this video has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will sincerely consider applying for the UK opportunity. Please go ahead and hit the like button down below to let me know that you like this video and subscribe to the channel because I keep creating content like this all the time twice a week. Also don't forget to hit the bell icon because I want you to be notified first when I upload something. Promise to see you in the next video. Until then, make sure you take care of yourself. Stay safe.